My first guest is a great big television star. She is the anchor and managing editor of the CBS Evening News. <laughs> Please welcome the very lovely Katie Couric, everybody. Get it, girl. I do? Yeah, you should read the news in that dress. It's awesome. <laughs> I like when you sit on the desk and kind of shuffle your papers and they're kind of like, mm, I've got the news. <laughs> it is so funny, though, when they go to a commercial break, like when they show the stocks in front of the desk. You yeah. have to kind of figure out, like, what can I do? I, of course, want to talk to the crew and say something to the writers and cut up. But you have to look very serious and pretend like you're writing something important. Do you, are you not really writing anything important? <laughs> not really. <laughs> But don't tell anyone. Did you ever, did you ever like, because you, when you read the news, you actually have to read it, right? It's on a prompter, yes, right? Yes, it is. Right, so have you ever been reading the news because you've been doing it for a while and just kind of blanked out and read it and forgot you were even doing it? Because <laughs> I do that here all the time, yeah. Like I do a show and then I leave and I go, what the hell did I do? I can't even remember. Sometimes I'm thinking about other things once in a while while I'm reading the, a story. Really? What, what are you thinking about? Oh, well, you know. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm thinking about, I don't know, just once in a while, but usually I'm pretty focused. Sometimes right. the teleprompter kind of hey, goes on the Hey, touch me again fret. and I'll make out with you right here. <laughs> nice cup. Thanks very much. It's because of my small penis. Oh. Anywho. That's a double bluff. I've actually got a huge penis. <laughs> so it was fun speaking of, I'm not, not I'm kidding about that, but I was fun to see Bob, Bob Saget. You see Bob Saget by I stage? I saw Bob He's Saget. He's around tonight for some and, reason. And uh, I actually had a blind date with him once. Stop it. Really? Yeah. It wasn't really Dude, blind. Yeah, well, that's how I'm getting to that, yeah. Anyway, it was it was very, very, uh, you know, mild-mannered. We had dinner. He was really nice, kind of lovably neurotic, as you can probably tell. No, I, I know Bob. I've known him for a while. And that but was, I've never had a blind date with him no. or slept with him. Katie. I didn't sleep with him. Uh, I never said you did. I never said you did. I just say I haven't. Okay, good. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. Did we, you think we, about it? No, no, oh, come no, on. no, no, no. We we had one date, went out to dinner. It was very nice, but apparently there wasn't a lot of magic. You know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> but he's a really funny, nice guy. Don't was you this think? when he was doing um, America's Funniest Home Videos? No, I think it was past that. All right, because yeah, you could yeah, have hit yeah. him the nuts with something, and that would have been great. Because <laughs> you know, people in the America's Funniest Home Videos, they always get hit in the nuts with things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you anyway, Katie? What's um, happening on the news? Everything's great. You yeah. know, I'm getting a lot of I'm getting a lot of ideas from your show, though, Craig. Like, you, I, yeah, the secretariat yeah. wouldn't no. that be good? Oh no! Like, if the news gets too depressing, You're right? I think we should bring secretariat. I think it's a great Don't idea. It would so? be a bit like this. Oh, who's that? I have a big surprise for you. You do? You dance with Secretaria, you get a Secretaria oh, t-shirt. Thank you so much. Thank you. Maybe I could wear this to do the news in. I, yeah, it's a bit casual for the news. You, you want to be a bit so? more... Yeah, I think... Uh, do, Maybe you can make a nice dress if it's belted. Yeah, it would, actually. Don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually... That was kind of hot when you even suggested that. <laughs> Do you get a lot of people coming on to you because you're It's kind of like the naughty librarian thing reading the news, isn't it? It's kind of like a sex thing. <laughs> it is. It's kind not of like really. the news, like that, yeah. yeah. No? no, not too many. I don't get anything for that either. You don't? Yeah. No? Did I mention I'm single? There you go. <laughs> Have you any use for a gay robot? <laughs> You never know. No, I don't know. No. Maybe. Hey, the last time I saw you was at the, uh, the well, the time the, before the last. Correspondence yeah, correspondence dinner. Correspondence dinner at the White House. You did an excellent job, by the way. Oh, I thought you were much. really, I really don't... funny. I think you you were just, you know, you were fairly new to I was night, new and to America. Were, and you were quite nervous. But I you was, did really yeah. well, and I thought you were you were very tasteful and funny. I really did. You D had could some you hear kind me? of. Yeah. <laughs> I think you made some some sort of. I made a joke about you. You did, yeah. but that's yeah. okay. It no, it was wasn't funny. about you actually. What happened was I said that I was uh, trying to introduce myself to the people there, and I said, "I'm what CBS can afford after they've paid you fifteen million dollars a year." <laughs> and then, if I recall uh, what happened afterwards, you came over to me after the speech and said, "You should get yourself a better uh -oh. agent." I think. <laughs> But not 
with the F, not with the F part. All not right, with the all F right. part. I added that. I, that was garnish. Do you ever read the news and think, well, I want to just throw in a Tootsie Fruits while you're reading the news? <laughs> like, guess what happened to the Caramba? Middle East today. Like that. Maybe on my last night of reading that, the news, that, you know? They would just, they'd beep it or something. When sort of your id and your super ego get all screwed up. Yeah. Like when you're at church and it's all quiet and you want to just scream something weird from your pew. Do you no, ever have Katie. that happen? <laughs> no, Katie, I never get that. You Tell never me think about, about that? Well, a little bit. You so. know, like in a very sort of state environment, what would happen if you just yelled something completely inappropriate? That I'm sure, don't people think about that? Well, yes, but they're not the people who are the CBS anchor for the <laughs> news, Katie. That's, that's why it's interesting well, I never because... I do it. I never do it. Well, not like, yet you haven't. No, that's true. What have, I mean, do they have some kind of delay? Could they, could they do anything? No, they don't have any delay. <laughs> I'll give you all the money I have if you let me read the news one night. There's like, there's like 50 bucks here in singles. Think about it, Katie. Think uh, well, about it. Great yeah. feeling you here, know, Greg. 50 million and 40. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's all right. So you're rich now then, anyway. You don't need this. Uh, I don't know about that. Do you have a boat? No, I don't have a boat. You can afford a boat. You can have a boat. <laughs> you know, boat, don't they say when a person buys a boat, the best day of their lives is the day they buy it, The best and the second best is the day they sell it. Yeah, they've said that. Yeah, yeah I yeah. think they're a lot of work, and, you know, I'm busy. I've got two teenage daughters, and oh, I'm yeah, running yeah. around. I'm working. I'm sorry I've, about that. Yeah. <laughs> I work really hard, and uh, so I don't really have time for... A boat? Yeah, I don't. I don't. But I, feel, I would like to have one I feel such a fool, sometime. Katie, for even... <laughs> For even do bringing you have it up. a boat? I do. You do? Yeah, a tiny what kind? little boat. Uh, it's a little rowboat. Yeah? Yeah. I row it around Marina Del Rey. Do you? Do, your wife, do you sing to your wife in it, like Bing Crosby and Grace Kelly? Yeah. <laughs> Katie, uh, we, we have to take a break. Uh, it's something really? We, yeah, something we do at CBS. Will you, uh, will you, oh no, you, of course you know. Yeah. But you, do you have sponsors like Serenity Adult Diapers? <laughs> you do. And boner pills. <laughs> lot of, really? Yeah, a lot of boner pills. So Although I don't think we need them tonight, Katie, and I ain't got it. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I don't know, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it is. All right, uh, we'll take a break. Then. Well, we'll take a break. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. You, you've done that on the no, news. No, you got to pay the bills, I understand. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got to pay for certain things at CBS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty Curry, everybody, moving right back. Are you no, nothing, right. nothing, nothing, nothing. Welcome nothing back, everybody. I'm here with the delightful Katie Curry, the jewel in the CBS crown. That was, that was a tough gig, though, taking over the news when you first started. People yeah. are very mean when yeah. you start taking it, over. I, when I started here, people were really mean. They were like, he'll never be as good as that other guy. How, <laughs> how, how did you deal with it? Um, I just kind of ignore it, really, or um, cry. <laughs> I kind of, well, what I do now, I used, to go, I used to Google myself. Do you do that? No, I stopped Googling myself yeah, probably stopped. five years ago. Yeah, it's yeah, bad. It's a real exercise in, in self-flagellation. You don't want to do that. <laughs> no, I do want to do the self-flagellation, but I don't. <laughs> in my yeah. I didn't say flatulation. I self -flagellation. said flatulation. If I could do that, I wouldn't be working in this dump. Uh, but the, uh, yeah, no, no, what I do is I go on the Twitter now. Yeah. And uh, do you do the Twitter? I do the Twitter. Oh, do you really? I You're do. on the Tweety Box. Good for I you. I do, I What's do. What's your Tweety handle? I, uh, at Katie Couric. Very, very boring. And you're mm. at, at Craig Fergie. Craigie Ferg. Craigie Ferg. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. Craig Fergie, Craigie Ferg. Yeah, it's all the same. Um, but I just started following you. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. So I'm waiting to hear I'll words you of back. wisdom. Yeah, follow me back. Yeah, it's yeah. fun. You know, I don't know. What do you think of it? It's sort of something. I quite like it. You do? Because, yeah, because when anybody says anything remotely negative, I mean, and I mean remotely negative, block them. You do? Block them. That's I mean, so just funny. even the tiniest bit, Craig, I didn't like your, ah, oh, don't even finish the sentence. Gone. <laughs> Gone. I, I, I block them all. That's I'm like, good, because yep. sometimes I DM people back who are nasty. Don't. I know, it's don't. really bad, but it's sort of like my friends say, friends don't let friends 
tweet drunk because yeah. I get sort of annoyed sometimes, so I'll DM. But I always think, well, could I DM something that, as long as it could be on the front page of the New York Times, I'm okay. So it's sort of, they're sort of politely snide, but I get sort of annoyed. But I try not to block don't, people because no. I don't, unless they're really nasty. No, I block them, but even, even, even slightly negative, really? not even nasty. Why? You're very because, thin skinned. Yeah? You're very thin skinned. No, I'm just ruthless. I'm kind of like Stalin of the tweeter. <laughs> I, uh, I'm like, you don't exist to me. Yeah, you're gone to me. I've only blocked a few people who are like are really harassing and, and some are quite vulgar. Yeah, I don't block them. <laughs> That's my people you, you're talking you about, You DM Katie. them back. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, hey, yeah, yeah. I'll DM them. What do you mean in your pants? Yeah. And you retweet it, right? I, no, I, no I, I, didn't, I resisted it for a long time. I, didn't, I wasn't keen on it. But yeah. apparently now, though, it's the thing for people who are uh, a little older than teenagers. I thought it was a teenage thing, but the kids are all off on some other thing. No, I don't, I don't, actually, I don't think a lot of young kids tweet. I think it's actually people who are a little bit older. And I think that, you know, my daughters think it's really weird that I do it. And you're, you're, cause your daughters probably don't, right? They'll be on some other well, website. They, they're just know. on Facebook and they BBM their friends all the time. What BBM, what is that? Blackberry Messenger. So they do these direct oh. messages to their friends that way. I don't Look really communicate. Look at you knowing I, things no, no, about no, no, stuff. No, no. <laughs> I don't really communicate that way, but I think they're way ahead of us. I think yeah, we're yeah. sort of. No, they are. But, I, I, but I think as an information sort of system, Twitter has gotten really important, you know, sometimes. Do you do it in the example, news? Do you do it in the CBS News? Because well, I noticed started, the CNN are doing we, it. Now. We started asking questions during the Gulf oil spill uh, from Twitter and Facebook, because oftentimes people who aren't covering stories day in and day out have really intelligent questions that are so obvious that maybe we forget to kind of talk about, like right. how much oil is actually under the surface of, of the water, or under the surface of the sand in the Gulf. And, you know, how they much add, oil is actually it's, under it's, the water? I, I think we couldn't determine how much right, it was, okay. just sort of an endless amount. But they ask maybe about the the system that they're using to get the oil. And they have really smart questions. So right. a lot of times we'll solicit questions from Facebook or Twitter. And it's just a nice interactive way to be responsive to our viewers, I think. Well, I wish we could do more of it, but we only have 22 minutes in the newscast. So it's very, you have to make very difficult choices every night. You don't have time for our dancing horse then. <laughs> You know what? I think since I am the managing editor, Craig, I might be able to convince them. That's right. You're the boss. Not really. But yeah, no, you are. It's not like me. It's just some kind of Cinderella sweeping up night after night. <laughs> You're in charge? It's no, like if I was no, me, I'm not. I'm hardly in charge. I'm hardly in charge. We have a whole team of people, an executive producer, and then, of course, some other people who weigh in on decisions. But at You're least, kind of in charge, it, at least I can say I don't feel comfortable with this, or we really need to move this story, or what about this story? And they they listen to me about fifty percent of the time. No, it's not bad. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. It's about like being married, really, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Well, we're out of time, Katie. Really? Yeah, what do you want, mouth organ or awkward silence? <laughs> what? Well, I don't have a band, so it's, uh, you know, when the guest, you know, we were out of time with the guests oh, and the and band play. Yeah. Well, well, but I got a mouth organ or we could I do want, an... I want the harmonica because I can play No, no, the it's harmonica. not a harmonica, Katie. It's not? It's no. a mouth organ? Yeah, it's a okay, mouth organ, Okay, give right. me a little number on the mouth organ. Oh, I will. <laughs> Is this cheeky? Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, not with Bob Saget. All no. right. There's yours. Really? Yeah, it's a fresh one. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I, I can actually a, play yeah. this. I'm not going to now, but I can play Shenandoah on, on this. You're going to now. You're going to now. Really? Yeah. I don't think we yeah. have time. You really can? Uh -huh, let's see. Wait. Wait a second. Hold on.